Hey, what's up? This is Spider Prime One back again with another Transformers video review. Well, as I said in my last video, I would be doing a my G1 reissues uh, Transformer figures. Um, this will be a four-part series. I'll look at them individually, one at a time. Um, here, are, my reissues are th the three Insecticons from the Toys R Us exclusive reissues. And then the Japan reissue, um, Autobot Jazz. So, um, I will be looking at them in turn. So, the first one I shall be looking at is uh, Insecticon Bombshell. He is a Hercules Beetle, or something they're resembling of. Um... He has four plastic wheels on his molded legs, so he skids, sort of. On some surfaces, he rolls on some others. It's You have to get the the limbs put on in just the right, right area, or else he'll wobble or something like that. Um, the transformation is very easy. All G1 transform, Transformers are very easy. All you really do is just fold the legs out like this, like so. The legs fold down like this, and then you fold the the chrome piece forward and fold this back until it kind of snaps. It'll go back farther, but it doesn't look that good, so I leave it right about there. And here is uh, Generation 1 reissue Bombshell in his robot mode. Um, he is very small, very, very small. Let's hit, um, size comparison with uh, Universe Sunstreaker. Oh, which, by the way, I did fix his shoulders um, so they look right. They, look, they should look like, like this. Instead of the way I had it. it, he was just being a pain last time. Um, another size comparison with Revenge of the Fallen Long Haul. As you can see, Bombshell is a dwarf of the group. Um, but most of the G1 characters were re figuratively small. The the mini bots probably being the smallest. Um, and he does come with a weapon. It's a little blaster. Uh, and it fits into either hand in the hole like that. And there he is with his weapon. He does have articulation, very limited, but his arms swing in and out due to transformation. Uh, they rotate a full 360 degrees at the shoulder. Um, his legs move at the waist, and because of transformation, his legs can move back and then back forward again. So you can have you can have him in a kind of squatting position, or just having him stand up regularly. And that is it for part one. Part two will be coming probably like five minutes from now. So until then, this is Spider Prime One signing off.